Hi, I'm David King. I work for Scott Kramer. We're going to be replacing these uh, four big posts on this, uh, well, at least the bottom parts of these uh, big six for six posts on these, uh, this big tobacco barn. All right, well, here's what we got right here. This was, we started with this one. We know this post was good down at least to this point. It's actually good to, down to about right here. We went on and took a little bit extra off of it, made this eight foot post work. We went two foot in the ground, poured about eight bags of concrete around it. You see the way we notched it in right there and we bolted it back together. Okay, we're planning on doing all these like this, the ones that needed it. You can see the water damage right here. Pretty common on this red oak, even though they saw it out of the center of the tree, for the most part. You can see where, well, what it is where the water blows in on them. But, we got to this post right here, it's a different story. A lot more damage. Uh, you can see we got this platform off the lift holding the load. Now uh, you can't really see up in there. But what happened was, you can see this thing's got a new roof on it. It's been there for about five years or so. Okay. Pretty common for these old barns right here, the way a metal was nailed on on the end, especially when they got these big wide two foot overhangs and stuff like that. For the wind to get in under those uh, sheets of metal and peel them back. And this post right here has got water damage like that all the way down it. Now we didn't see that, so now what we gotta do is replace that post all the way up. Well that opens up a whole new ball game because now this thing's gotta be the load propped all the way from the roof down to the ground to make it safe. This platform right here just ain't gonna get it. We gotta have a lot better prop so we can get that post out of there and you know be safe with the whole thing. Another thing, it takes a, uh, about 22, about 23 foot from the from the roof beam right there to where we're gonna set it out on the ground. Okay. Well you can't get but uh, well you can get 24 foot posts but not at your local lumber stores like Lowe's or somewhere like that. So what we're gonna do is take a 12 and a 14 and put a little bit longer lap on it. It's not going to have any uh, flex on it at the lap anyway. We'll break the lap right at one of these stringers or whatever, and uh, that'll be fine on that. That'll be a lot easier to get the post in there. A 24-foot post will be a job to get in there. All right. And the end post down here. We got the, we got the siding off this post right here. And I uh, drilled a couple of holes into it. This post is fine. If we did anything get right now, we we're just weaken it. So we got we got this post and the end post. This one right here, we're gonna do it just like the other one. We're only gonna replace it so far up. We already got the eight foot post here for that. And that's what the, the owner wanted just replace what's rotten. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright, that's what well, we got. I got whatever I got in that bag, Vince. I don't know what right, we got a 16 foot post that's got the bottom half of it. We still like that top part. Trying to figure out how to get the lift in there, but I think we can do it. Great. Come on. Great. Come on. That's what we 
Get up, Dick. Hold the lighter real quick. Clay, come up here and help me. No, hold the lighter real quick. Hold it right there. Hold that door. Look at you, Well, that man's got a little more. Oh, Watch your fingers. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Still got to go up. I'm here, right there. No, I'm not. Hold on. Something's wrong here. Amen. This one. This one got a little bit more water damage. We're there. gonna try to do it about like the other one over there. Oh, we gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Wow. Got eyes. It's okay. Yeah, that weakened it up. That made short work of that. Well, I don't see nothing wrong with that, homie. 